I don't know how, but they've done it again. Steven Rails had an update. This is the greatest thing ever. Hey, that looks cool. I mean, at this point, I feel like half of my content is just Steven Rails updates, and I'm not complaining. It's very cool, but it also, what the fuck? So if you don't know what Create Steven Rails is, you've never watched any of my videos. You can't, because I, I use it all the time. It's an add-on for Create that makes a bunch of things with the trains a lot cooler. Last time I looked at the track switches, these are very, very cool and very amazing, and I'd like to marry it if I could. I mean, I'd drop it. It's probably illegal, but I mean, I'd probably, I, if, I, if I could. Now, the problem is, I'm a big sussy man. Actually, someone told me in the comments to, to I think, name this sus and then put it on. Was it just sus? Wait. Oh. <laughs> I'm imposter among us. That's nice. <laughs> I'm about to make friends with the pigs. Yo, I am your height. I'm actually taller than the pig. Look at me, just hanging out with your mom. I'm gonna get rid of the susness and actually make this video here. So they added a bunch of things and I'm pretty sure this is, yeah, this is a new tab. Create Steven Rails tracks. That was the thing before, what the fuck? There are way too many tabs here now. I have, this is, okay, so these are all the tracks. Now, normally we had these, you know, cool different train tracks. Yeah, with different types of wood. That's cool. And then they decided to add tie, tieless train tracks, which is this, also very cool. And then phantom train track, which is invisible train track. As soon as I get this out of my hand, gone. You can't see. Which is actually really cool, because I'm gonna be able to use this when I make cars on my Create Mode Survival series, where I make one episode every five years, and you just keep complaining in the comments. All right, jokes aside, they added some new train tracks. We have a wide andesite train track, okay? And I don't even know what this is, because there are no normal andesite train tracks, I believe. Oh, there's another one. There's a narrow and a wide. Is this just a normal train track? I'm guessing it looks like that from the, the texture, uh, but apparently wide. So this is normal train track, and this is that looks so weird and dumb. But how does this even work? Wait, I'm so confused. We have the normal train tracks, right? And when you make a train on this, wait, let me make a train. Let me make a train. Let me make... Feels like I've done this before. I actually looked back at some of my older Create Mod videos today from when they added the trains. And if you had, if you'd have told me back then that I would one year later still be making videos about these goddamn trains, I would probably not believe you, and I would probably just stop making YouTube videos. So this is what the normal boogies look like. Very nice. You can also get train casing in your hand. This is also another feature from Create Steam and Rails, but you can choose uh, boogie styles. Oh, look at that. NSW. I'm guessing that's narrow, standard, and wide, probably. So there are different boogies for the different... Ooh, what is that? Oh, this one can only be used on the wide. Oh, okay. Wait, so if I like choose this one, it's going to change. Yeah, this is on normal train tracks. What if we get the wide ones? <laughs> this looks so incredibly dumb. I mean, it's it's cool. Right, create new train. Let's see what this boogie looks like. <laughs> I compare that to the normal one, which I can't even do because I got rid of the train station because I'm dumb. There we go. Okay. Right, so uh, yeah, size comparison. This one is a lot bigger as expected. That's a 10 out of 10. Wait, can I make another large one right behind it? Oh, is that intended or not? Ooh, that looks really cool. Nice. Wait, I need, I need to drive this. I need to drive the train. I want to know what this looks like. Train controls, yellow seat, glue, and assemble. All right, let's make a little track for us to drive here. Oof, look at that. <laughs> Okay, there, okay, that, that doesn't really work. I have an unhealthy relationship to Minecraft trains. This thing was big before, but now compared to this, oh, this is really small. But that's not it. We have narrow and the side train track, okay? How small is this? Okay, wait, so the normal one is like two blocks, right? There's one block here and then half a block, half a block, like two blocks wide. This one is three blocks in between. Boom, boom, boom. Is the narrow one just one block? Wait, so it's, it's gonna be like Minecraft rail, but... Oh, that is so pretty and cute and small and nice. Imagine using this in your little mine. You have a little mine and then you have a little mine cart that goes down. Wait, I need to know what the boogies looks like. Please, make it cute. I want it to be cute and small and cute. Oh my god! Oh, but it's so tall. I don't think this will connect, actually, if I glue everything. Or maybe it will, I'm not sure. Oh, <gasps> it will! <laughs> No, 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 this is great. This is, I'm gonna use this. <laughs> There's no way I'm not using this. You know, every time in my survival world, when I go mining, I just dig a hole and go down a strip mine. I want to make a real mine, like a good looking mine with, uh, you know, item transportation, storage or processing. So I can like go down and mine and then I just drop off my things. And when I drop my things off, they just get automatically taken care of and then transported all the way to my base where they get stored and everything, you know, that's the plan. And I was thinking of using trains for it, for just like going around down in the mines, but I figured it'd look kind of weird with a big fat huge train. Look at this. This is the perfect solution. I want to know. Wait, what if I get a, an oak train track narrow? This is going to look great. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah, that's going in the mine. I'm sorry for once again being speechless about Minecraft trains. I feel kind of bad at this point. And if you have subscribed, make sure to unsubscribe. Wait, so different boogie types. Let's see. Standard styles. We have this one, which is... Oh, it even says comically large. Nice. How does this... Oh my... Oh, it's the normal one. 
<laughs> it's the normal one, but just act insane. This is the best thing ever. Why is this... <laughs> Why is this a thing? And this, together with the phantom train track. Wait, is there phantom train track in wide? No, there's just normal. But wait, maybe we can use it for, for wide. I hope so. Because the thing is, when they added monorails, they used the normal train tracks to make the monorails. And that's why if you get a monorail and try to ponder it, you get the normal train track ponder. But that also means you can connect normal train tracks to monorail train tracks and then drive monorail trains on normal train tracks and normal train on monorail train tracks. Yeah? So I should probably be able to drive on the Phantom train track with the comically large, insane frickadoodle. What's happened with my videos? I'm, I'm, I don't even. Oh my, we have a floating. It looks like a car. I have a, way, a I have a question that is way more important. What if we get the narrow train track and we connect it? Oh, is it not connectable? It is. Wait, it just doesn't show the. Does this work? Can we actually- No! <gasps> Imagine the comically large insane train on the super narrow mini tracks. The thing is, the first time I looked at this mod, I remember they had the, the minecart with jukebox. I think they had... I don't even remember. If I'm not mistaken, it didn't add that much. And I said, oh, I'm you know, looking forward to see what this mod turns into. It could become something cool. And I didn't really expect anything, because, you know, there's a bunch of projects that just, you know, disappear. And they there's, a, you know, a lot of like, oh, we're gonna do this, we're gonna do this. And then three years later, and it's, it just doesn't exist anymore. But this, I mean, big applause. Oh, thank you. Amanda, did they add anything more? Well, I, okay, wait, I need to see some more boogie styles. This is the tiny one, right? It's a little cute one. Are there other boogies for the tiny one? So you can see these ones are for the standard, 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 standard. Okay, none of these are for the narrow. And I think they've added more as well, which is cool. Oh, this one, narrow double scotch yoke. Way! This is the only other narrow buggy. So we can do that one and the normal one. And it looked like this. That is so cute. Oh. All right, so I'm reading the change log and it says that they've added automatic whistle operation. What's an automatic whistle operation? Is that the steam whistle or is this, is it, are they talking about the conductor whistle? All right, I actually have no idea. Automatic whistle operation. If anyone knows, please tell me in the comments. I'd like to know what the... All right, they don't know one more thing and that is to the smokestacks. Oh. Oh, apparently custom smoke as well. I think it used to be the fireplace smoke, the normal micro smoke. Or did they just, have I just not looked at this one? Or maybe this one's new. Wait, no, I used this one yesterday. It didn't used to look like that. That's so much better than the other one. I mean, imagine, well, let me get a fireplace out here. It used to look like this. Just the normal Minecraft smoke. Oh, and you can use these for chimneys in your factories as well. If you've made a chimney, a brick chimney, and you place a bunch of these guys in there, that's gonna look so much better than the normal just having a bunch of campfires in there. But apparently, we can change the color of this by just placing wool underneath. And if there's... Oh my, yeah, we... <laughs> but now I really need to make a rainbow train. Let's get lime wool. We get like blue. Uh, this is not a, a rainbow, but it's several colors. I'm happy with that. It's a symbol. I don't want to look at it. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, it didn't work. What happened to the rainbow? Hello? J taste of the rainbow. Is it just because I assembled it and then we disassemble and then it works? Way! Help me, please, for the love of everything.